Yes, sir. Your boy is back. So in this video, we're gonna be going over how to do Jack Harlow. We starting off with this loop that actually came from one of my Patreon members. <laughs> repeat this part the shortcut to actually just highlighting everything just right click on here bro and just highlight it but make sure that you got the magnet on line so it doesn't you know go into in between the beat <laughs> So the little shortcut that I've been only be doing when I'm trying to highlight is I would actually hold the left control and then left click. And then in order to keep this highlighted and you want to highlight this, hit control shift, hold both of them, and then just do this and they'll keep both of those highlighted. <laughs> that shit was dope as a <laughs> Hold on, son. Hold on, son. <laughs> Make sure that all your 808s is tuned to the note C, so then you can pitch it up and down. You ain't gotta worry about transposing. Hey, boy, they here, boy. This is a quick way to put the little diddles in your 808s. So you hold control, left click, highlight that, and then all you gotta do is hit Alt U, and it brings up these diddles or chops, whatever you wanna call them. I'm gonna highlight these. And then what you wanna do is right click, go up, and then highlight this, and then boom. So situations like this where I hear the 808 but I just don't know if the pitch is right is actually just take this and pitch it up and make sure that it actually follows the baseline of the progression. I'm gonna actually take this down. Now this is the thing that nobody really knows about. You look under here, you see three dots underneath each letter. Say for instance if I want to rename hit R and I can easily rename this pattern. No God please no Anytime that you see three dots underneath any of these letters, that lets you know that that's a shortcut. But when you hit C, C is not going to do anything but clone it. You get the point, right? Exactly. Your boy is the king of shortcuts. So the shortcut to highlight in all of these, hold the left shift and go all the way down to the bottom. You don't have to hold anything but the shift. Hold the shift and then look at the bottom. Drag that be over. Boom. All I'm really doing is just using the same two, holding the left control, highlighting it, and then just hitting control B and it'll just constantly repeat it. So... If I take a little bit of the lows out, it'll the sample will actually blend in a little bit better. So what I'm gonna end up doing because I know in the future I'm not gonna keep this EQ on here the whole time, so I'm gonna just make an automation clip. It's a video I saw like back in the day with like Young Chop. He was saying he actually turns up his highs, it makes it more crispy. I'm not gonna have everything in the beginning, so we're gonna slide this back. From this point, I'm just adding like little transitions, just to switch it up a little bit so it's not the same thing. As long as you can get an artist on it and they really hear some type of potential in what you're making, you know, that's that's really all they, they really be caring about for real. This loop is crazy, bro. Shout out to everybody that signed up on the Patreon, bro. These loops y'all been sending me, bro, phenomenal. These are some of the Patreon members right here Tia Jones. F4D Nari Y'all can see more videos like this Like I said, these loops are coming straight from my Patreon members All the links are down below Also, YB dropped his kit that I wish I would've freaking had Cause that sh That jam would've been perfect for this beat, bro I needed those sounds but yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, bro. I got melody videos coming. This is me just cooking up. Join the Discord down below. Make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment on this video. Deuces. Let us be so crazy. I see Will on the beats. Damn, TV Digital.